Okay, I wanted to do an update of where I'm at with this uh, microamp uh, pulse motor setup, and uh, this is still a prototype stage. But uh, where I'm leaning right now to get away from the friction is putting a sapphire bearing on a magnet like this and gluing the sapphire bearing onto a magnet and then having the needle run in the sapphire bearing and held up in there with magnetism and then at the bottom having a stabilizer magnet to get away from um, the friction as much as I can and keep the dirt out of the bearing and um, this was anyway my thought I've tried a lot of different techniques of bearings and stuff but a needle running in a sapphire jewel bearing inverted so that the dirt won't fall into the bearing is where I'm heading right now. Uh, I like the driver unit. The driver unit is uh, down in the microamps where I want to be. I'm running this on a, on a coin cell right now. It's a 3 volt coin cell. And it's been running for days and days and days uh, very reliably. So I like that circuit. You can look back in my, in my videos, a couple of videos back and see what the circuit is. It's a dad have circuit and then modified by backup CPU and then uh, Theodore Pauly is um, the guy that uh, put forth that coil which is the 42 gauge uh, 4000 ohm coil that fits with that circuit and I'm just using a 10 meg ohm resistor um, and then the two transistors and that's the only components to the uh, circuit the coil the uh, uh, PNP and NPN transistor. I'm using MPS A18 uh, NPN and then a 29306 uh, PNP and then uh, an LED that goes from the um, collector on the NPN to the plus rail. But what I'm looking for is something that'll run a long, long, long time on uh, either a small amount of power from a battery or using solar energy. Now these are my solar energy runners here and um, this is the same circuit and I'm running that on a solar garden light cell and then uh, this over here is my easy spin type design but this is what I'm running up against is this is a, a penny oscillator that I've had running on a homemade battery and the deterioration from the ultraviolet is what goes after these things and if you have anything that's attacked by UV, this is what you run up against after years and years of running. This has been running several years. It runs all the time, but it's breaking down with ultraviolet. So on these spinner things here, what you're up against is uh, UV and then deterioration from wear on bearing surfaces. So anyway, that's just uh, the update on my uh, little... Uh, quest to get something that runs non-stop for a long long time on a battery or, or using solar energy to run it all the time so um, I don't care if this only runs for say six months on a battery I don't mind replacing the battery every six months like you would on a clock a battery operated clock but having something on a shelf like that is kinda what I'm after a little curio item something that was a curiosity item that didn't make any noise and uh, you left it alone and it just ran all the time um, just as something to look at and I've had a lot of fun uh, looking at these little projects here that run all the time it's just something to for me anyway it's enjoyable to see these things run thanks for watching